Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour, or in this case, a PowerPoint presentation. You better know when I've upgraded to uh, PowerPoint from uh, Microsoft Paint, <laughs> but to give us six slides for you, that things are things are serious. Um, actually taking some time to put together a few slides for you here and present to you an idea for an, um, an ELO system for Zero Hour uh, that would be basically a website that looks like the Age of Empires. Um, site that you can see here where it's basically got an elo system you can see the elo rankings all in the left hand side and basically create something like this for zero hour that would encompass all platforms anyone who's on gentle any win any loss recorded anywhere where you played on radmin game ranger or revora anything like that that would then be automated as well because we've seen over recent months we've seen people um like regka or rekja one of those and also another guy called The Real Slurpy, I've, I've been speaking to about this idea. And they've been basically using the gentle data to pull wins and losses and stats of uh, like some of the top players together. So it's definitely possible to convert the data on the gentle.net website into real statistics. But then my idea is to take that even a step further and to get that on a website uh, automated. So any game you play at any time would then come onto a, uh, onto a website automatically. Um, I've got to do this video as well because I might be sending this to like some uh, uh, program programmers or coders. So General Zero is a, like a 20 year old game that we play. We play across all different platforms, as I mentioned. Some of us are playing on Revora, some of us are playing on uh, Game Ranger, some of us are playing on Radmin. But whenever a game is played of Zero, if those two players are on Gen Tool, which is like a little third party app, then all that data, the, the screenshots from the games to prove you're not a hacker, and the replay file and a text file as well with all your computer information and details of the map and how long the game was and stuff like that is all uploaded to a website called gentool.net forward slash zh forward slash data. I believe that is the is the link. And in there you can go and you can access um, all the play information. In fact, we will just do it now. So if I pull that onto screen right now, I'm on gentool.net forward slash data. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We'll go to zh. We will scroll down and go to like November. So today's date is 17th of November. I'll go in there. And then basically you've got all the different player names who have played games today and they've been using Gentle. And then next to it, it's got a code. Um, next to them, which should be unique, but you do find occasionally uh, some people do have duplicates, which is definitely a, pro a problem that needs to be overcome. But let's say we want to go and look at this guy, Master. We can see he's played one game today. He's got one replay. One text file, he's got all these screenshots from his game. We'll click on a screenshot and we can see he was going for a huge drop with some Chinooks. And then he's got a text file, tells you some details about that game. And then I believe to work out a stat, a stat if the player won or lost or whatever, you have to do something called parsing or something like that. And you get into that replay file and find out who won or lost. That's the part where it becomes way too technical for me. I have no idea how to do that. But I know it's possible because I've seen people... Uh, pull wins and losses and stats from this site before. So I know 100% it is definitely possible. So my idea, if we just go back to that slide, is to basically create something like Age of Empires 4, where you, if you go to Google, type in AOE4 rank, click on the first link, it takes you to that. And my idea is to use all that gen tool data to then w work for zero. Of course, that would mean buying a domain. Of course, that would mean uh, working out an ELO system and getting all those stats in the first place and importing it to a website. There's loads of stuff to do here. Of course, but this is the this is the dream, and it truly would revolutionize Zira, and no doubt massively boost the activity. Uh, I know obviously we've got clan wars and stuff like that, but I'm going to come on to that a little bit later on um, about why clan wars and Discord um, ladder things are, are aren't the greatest. So why do we want to do it? Well, having an ELO system would be truly revolutionary. Uh, we've got the clanwars.cc website. So if you just go to Google again, type in clanwars.cc, you basically brings up this website. The problem is with that, it's not very active. Um, it's only active in certain months when people put up like $200 or whatever. And to know when it's sponsored, you have to follow a website called gamereplays.org and like just check for random topics in case someone is sponsored. Uh, so it's not the most ideal. It's not the most eye-catching and appealing. It's not as good as that website I just showed you before about Age of Empires 4. Um, and there are there's problems with it. The ELO system is 20 years old. It could be doing with updated uh, being updated. And sometimes the website goes down. Sometimes it crashes and all kinds of stuff like that. There's also a Russian Discord channel that probably not a lot of people know the invite link to. But it basically looks like that over on the right-hand side. And you can win... Uh, games on there. I believe they actually got coders or someone to help them out with that and it is actually pretty good. You can play a game and report it just with a simple command if you won or lost 
and it basically tells you who's at the top and your wins and losses and all kinds of stuff like that. But the problem is with that is that not everyone in the world knows how to access that. It's not as easy as me just going to Google and typing AOE4 uh, ranks. You have to go to a private Discord channel that you probably don't even have the invite to, and then you have to navigate your way through this, and it's just not the most user-friendly, not not... Not everyone's going to do that, are they? Rather than go to a go to a website, for example. Um, so yeah, a website that would use gentle data to track everyone's wins and losses across all platforms, whether it be Game Ranger, Radmin, or Revora, whatever they're playing on, would be truly unbelievable. It high, highly likely boost activity, and it, I'm sure pretty much everyone would agree this would be uh, the most amazing thing ever. Um, so yeah, that's the rationale by, by, by about doing it, and you would also encompass all platforms, whether whether someone's playing a Clan Wars game or whether someone's playing on the Revora ladder or whatever, it all be in one place. We'd bring everyone together. Of course, if they're not on Gen Tool, then they're excluded if they're not um, uploading their wins and losses. That's another thing, by the way. You'd have to filter out duplicates. Like, if I won a game against player B and uh, they weren't, they lost the game to me, there would, there would have to be a system to try and filter out duplicates like so it doesn't record it twice uh, that would definitely be a thing um so yeah the current problems are we have multiple platforms some people playing on game ranger where there's no ladder at all some people playing on private radmins which another problem behind that is like there's probably loads of private radmin servers that how does the general public or just the random joe blogs comes along how does he get hold of them radmin servers and stuff like that how can he immediately start playing with us whereas if there was like a a ladder that even if you just booted up Game Ranger and just played a 1v1 game, you're instantly playing on the same ladder as everyone else in the world, and you wouldn't need to know the private Discord of the Russians and all that kind of stuff. Clan Wars is not always active, like I said. Discord's not great. Like, how often do you hear about a private Discord and and be able to get the invite link for it really easily? Uh, it's not it's not the easiest thing unless you know certain people and you can ask for, ask for the private invite. Um, it's not easily visible to the world. I can't just go on Google and find it. Clan Wars isn't great. Uh, has massive room for improvement. It's not not visually eye catching, and the Yellow system is ancient and definitely could be doing with improved, like aligned more closely with other esports games. Some people mentioned chess and uh, CS:GO. Yellow systems might be a better a better fit for it. Um, so, how can we make this happen? You're probably thinking, "Oh, it sounds amazing. How do we make it happen?" Well, speaking to the real Slurpee, who's going to be the main guy, the main contact for this, uh, we'll probably put together a group of guys on Discord and maybe we'll be able to do it. Apparently, we need front-end and back-end developers. This, <laughs> this is out of my territory, and this is not like some kind of a sex game, this front-end, back-end thing. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, to do with coding and programming and stuff like that. And we need people with experience of Python, uh, node J, node.js no idea what either of these things are but i know I, i've heard of them and i know that's to do with coding and programming and stuff um got html and css if you've got experience of any of this stuff you might be able to help framework experience uh database knowledge sql no sql x query or oql if that's what that is we will probably need cash as well to buy things like a website for a domain we may need to pay people if we don't get uh, enough volunteers or stuff like that, we may need to pay people. Or maybe people watching this video will actually help out, but they want paying for the, for their services. And probably we could probably raise some money, and I definitely will contribute towards this as well. So um, if, if we're definitely able to make it happen. Um, and we would need an ELO system as well, like recommendations for whatever the best ELO systems are, whether it be chess, whether it be CSGO, whether it to be uh, Modern Warfare 2 or, or another CNC game. We all need all of these. And we probably will need other things as well that I haven't actually mentioned here. Um, but if you've got any experience of any of this stuff or you just want to contribute to it or whatever, then you're um, you're more than welcome to. Uh, so who, who would be the contact? Well, if you do want to uh, talk further about this or support on it, I would suggest in the first instance, contact this guy, the real Slurpee. Um, hashtag 6684 is his Discord link. So if you've got Discord, add him there and he'll be happy to talk to you. I don't know why this text has got all these dots on it and stuff. I don't know why that <laughs> happens. Uh, you can also go in my Discord channel if you want to talk to me about it further or you've got some ideas or something like that. Uh, I would say only contact me if, you, if you're very serious or only contact the real Slurpee if you're very serious and you've actually got time and you've actually got knowledge of some of the stuff I've uh, I previously mentioned. Don't, don't contact me if you're just time wasting because uh, <laughs> I don't want to just get spammed and uh, and there actually be no result from it. Only serious uh, serious people who actually want to help out, whether you want to be volunteer for it or you want to make some money out of it. If you can definitely help, then uh, you're in the right place. Also, there's my email address if you don't have Discord. 
um you can contact me at uh, my email address i did put for paypal there if you if you want to like i was thinking of going on fiverr for example and hiring some coders or programmers on there now i know for example this is the type of knowledge we need i might be able to go on there and hire some people so if you want to donate anything towards that that's my paypal uh just make sure you clear <laughs> in the in the text or whatever what it's for um but i have to caveat it just because we've paid someone or just because we bought a don domain or, or something like that it's such a big project i think and there's so many downfalls it's just because you've contributed or something there can't be any guarantee that this project is definitely going to go ahead of course if you if you donate something and it, the money doesn't end up getting used and the project doesn't happen you will of course get your money back but if we've paid a programmer or something and in the end for some reason or whatever we can't overcome some hurdle and it doesn't happen then we can't i can't be like issuing refunds to everyone so if, if that's a, a risk to you then i would suggest don't even don't even consider funding uh, or whatever to this project um useful links if you want to access gentle data and have a browser on there that's the link gentle.net forward slash data forward slash zero uh age of empires 4 website example if you just go to google and just type in aoe4 rank that's the, literally the first link but there is the full url if you want to check out clanwars.cc which is probably the most popular one at the moment or it's probably the russian discord channel is pretty accurate uh pretty popular as well but the clanwars.cc website is that if you go to the zero section you can see all players at the moment will have zero points, but you can st still get an idea of how that website works. The way that one works is you actually go on the website and you click report loss and you say who you lost to and stuff like that. And it's called Clan Wars because you can kind of stack a clan. You can make four members in a clan. Let's say like, I don't know, ABC clan or whatever. And then that clan might come top. Uh, come top. And there's like two ladders. Yeah, the, cl the clan uh ladder and then also the 1v1 ladder as well that's another thing as well you might want to have a 1v1 ladder 2v2 ladder 3v3 um ideally who's like the best 2v2 player who's the best 3v3 player all that kind of stuff all on one website that would probably be the dream um so yeah any other brainstorming like that any other ideas you've got let us know in the comments there's also another example starcraft2.com if you just type in starcraft2 ranks into google it's like the second link or something you can basically see some kind of uh uh elo system that they've got there i don't know which is the best though but i'm hearing like csgo one and chess one is actually pretty good so that's it that's about as advanced as my powerpoint skills get thank you very much <laughs> let us know your comments down below and hopefully either you have some ideas here and able to contribute or you've got some of the skills and requirements needed and you can message uh, the real slurpy and we can get things uh rolling let me know gg